Hello everyone, Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. It's Friday around 7, 7.20 in the morning, heading to the office. And uh, I, had a, I had a couple of conversations this week with uh, some of my great clients um, about a problem that seems to come up a lot lately in the real estate uh, selling side of things. A lot of people that own homes and they know that their value of their home went through the roof right now and they should be able to sell it for a lot of money, they're holding off. Um, We have a lot of people looking to buy, we have very few sellers selling and I discovered that one of the issues is the fact that since the values are so high right now, the taxes will be very high. when this guy is trying to sell their home going to buy another house so they want to buy another house but the tax that they're going to pay on the new house which is now at a percent and a quarter of the purchase price just do the math whatever the purchase price is five hundred thousand a million um, take a percent and a quarter out of that and that is your tax for the year so it's quite an amount that comes down back to a month that uh, some of the sellers don't want to pay because they're stuck now at a very low rate. They bought this house a long time ago. Um, maybe they bought it for 100000 and now the house is worth a million. They paying tax on 100000 So they don't want to sell, buy another house for a million or a million and a half if they want to upgrade and pay the tax at a million and a half rate. So they're scared, it's a lot of money. So they're not moving, they're not uh, doing the sale and the purchase, the upgrade, the, the buying the dream house that they've been wishing for. Because of that, a lot of them are just holding it off. So um, I don't know if you guys are aware of uh, Prop 60. It's something that came and it was voted and it's, uh, it's now in effect for that type of seller um, that they can hold the old tax rate on the new house. But there are a couple of tricks, obviously. Uh, the government uh, put some uh, conditions in place. One of them is, ha- is uh, that you have to be 55 year old or older, 55 or older, in order to take advantage of this. That's one of them. So. Uh, uh, a lot of people do qualify for that. Um, they bought the houses a long time ago. Obviously, they're a little bit uh, in the older side. So they, they do qualify for it. But they're not doing it. They're not selling because they don't even know about this. So that's one of the, um, the things. So the second thing is the house that, you've, that you're going to be buying has to be cheaper by at least a dollar. So you sell your house that you purchased 20 years ago for 100,000, you sell it for a million. The new house has, has to be less than a million, 900, 999, whatever. So what you can do, you can, you can uh, sell your house and then purchase another house that's a little bit ran down, maybe a fl- uh, uh, something that needs to be remodeled, something that needs to be completely rehabbed and you actually can take advantage of this law, this Prop 60 that it's called. So you have actually two years from the time you sell your old house to buy the new house, or you can buy the new house and then you have two years to sell the old house. And all you have to do after that, apply for the new, apply for the tax to be, uh, to be transferred, the tax rate. So this is one of the things that I've seen a uh, few of my clients struggling with uh, this past week and I wanted to pass it on. Um, it's, it's, it's something that could turn some sellers, some, some uh, people that want to sell into real sellers and put their properties on the market. And uh, I thought i shared that with you. If you have any questions, you know how to find me, Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker 626-607-8652. Give me a call and I'll talk to you more about it. There are, there are other things, but these are the things in the, in the nutshell that you need to know about. Alrighty, talk to you guys soon. Have a uh, great weekend ahead and we'll see you next time. Bye.